Chaos in Sweden. People are burning police cars. Great riots and protests because some far-right Danish guy called Rasmus something wants to come to Sweden and burn the Quran. Now here is my uh, esoteric mystical understanding of it. Swedish people in general have a guilty heart. They feel guilt. The police feel guilt. That is why the police in Sweden are not being as hard on the protesters as they should be. And they are not being as tough on the protesters as they should be. Because the police deep inside themselves feel guilt. They know they have mistreated Muslims. The police know that they have been unfair towards black people. The police know that they have been unfair to foreigners or invandrare as you say. They know that the foreigner protesters, many coming from Middle Eastern countries, have a just cause. They have the right to be angry. When someone comes and wants to burn the Quran during the holy month of Ramadan. Now it's not about the Quran. I, I don't care if some right-wing Nazi burns the Quran. This message is eternal. It comes from Allah. You can burn one million Qurans. It's not going to change the word of Allah. It's not going to change the message. It's not going to change the essence of the message. But when someone comes and burns the Quran publicly, it just lifts up all the racism and Islamophobia and oppression that exists in the society. And the Swedish police, just like many in the Swedish people know, they should not really allow someone coming to their country burning the Quran. They know they should not allow that. They know deep inside in their hearts that if it would be the opposite way around, uh, someone coming and burning the gay flag or burning the Swedish flag in front of the parliament, they would arrest the person for causing civil unrest. But somehow when someone burns the Quran, which is equally as holy, probably even more holy than those flags to the Muslims, because Muslims are seen as lesser people. The police allow it. The politicians allow it under freedom of speech. Well, freedom of speech for white people. Not freedom of speech for Muslims or, or brown people that are seen as lesser by the Western imperial powers. So all of these causes a guilt. You can call it a white guilt if you want to. And that is why the police have no morale to fight as they should against the protesters. If this would have been in another country, in another situation where Muslims would have been treated fairly in that country and uh, give, been given justice, I'm telling you the police would be two times as hard on the protesters and the police would have support from this people to be hard on the protesters who take over cars and cause chaos but because they know that the protesters have the right to do so because they know the karma or the deeds of the police and the society in oppressing Muslims allowing burning of Quran but not allowing something equivalent that is holy to Western people like the the gay flag or burning you know the, the the law book or something like that in front of the parliament or the Swedish flag they would not allow that and because Muslims are not in powerful positions in the society they they don't have enough lawyers to actually cause a case against this Rasmus guy who is causing civil unrest he should be arrested Rasmus the racist should be arrested for causing civil unrest but he's not he's protected by freedom of speech because it's freedom of white speech freedom of white speech. It's a colonial imperialist mentality. And Sweden is causing worse and worse karma for itself. It's voting on Sverigedemokrater, making everything worse. 
people are already oppressed. Muslims are already oppressed in Sweden. And now Muslim countries are starting to react to what the hell is going on in Sweden. Muslim countries in the Middle East are starting to react to these riots. They are starting to react to the social service uh, uh, drama and all of these kinds of things. So Sweden is getting more and more known for being a racist country, an Islamophobic country. And that's very unfortunate for the Swedish people who are not like this, who don't behave like this, who don't have these kind of values. So this is all karma. If you treat a people unfairly and unjustly, don't expect to have the strongest fighting force against them when they protest also. This is about morale. It's about the just cause. It's about guilt or white guilt if you want to. Different nations have different amounts of white guilt. A nation like Finland, for example. Finland has not been involved in slavery. Finland does not have a history of oppressing Muslim countries and these kinds of things. That's why Finnish people have much less guilt and they can be much harder on these kinds of situations. Sweden, however, has not been directly involved in slavery indirectly, yes? But Sweden has behaved like a neo-colonizer, taking in a lot of foreigners from Poland, from, from uh, Greece, from you know, Turkey, and then immigrants, Somalia, Iraq, Afghanistan, and treating them like shit. And they know that they are treated like shit. Expecting the sort of Swedish people are going to have all the benefits and the foreigners are just going to do the bad labor and the, not really have the same rights under the law. That's what's causing these riots. And that guilt is what's causing the police to not be able to resist. They don't have any fighting spirit because deep inside they know that the protesters have a just cause. And deep inside they know they have done wrong to the foreigners. Now Sweden has two choices as I've said many times on my previous platform. They can choose to create an inclusive society. They can also choose to go to more national socialism through Sverigedemokraterna and cause civil unrest they have 800,000 something Muslims. Sweden is 800,000 something Muslims. That's 8% of the population. You want to treat that minority like shit, not give them the same rights, not respect their religion? Take the consequence. But then Sweden will have two enemies. An external one in Russia and an internal one in the 8% Muslim population. Ya Allah. Assalamu alaikum.